up? It's your girl Shelly May, and of course I'm back with another video. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This time it's on how I achieve this stunning look here. You know, we just love it. Um, so this is my hair blow dry, blah, 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 English blow dried out. Okay, um, and I actually really love rocking my hair like this. This is so easy. It's so simple and. Just easy and simple, honestly. Oh, and it's it's great for working out all the time because I work out about five days a week, five to six days, give or take the week or whatever. So it's it's the perfect just gym hair because I if I try to style it after this, it's, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna last. I'll get like maybe two days out of it, and the amount of work it takes to style compared to the amount of time that I'll be able to wear the style, just ain't worth it for me. Unless I'm straightening it. But um, this is a little bit different than how I would do it if I was actually going to straighten my hair. Um, I actually have like a video of me like going through the process of blow drying it. So that will be in here as well. But for starters, I'm going to just tell you the products that I use and show you. And then you'll get to see the clip of uh, me actually going through and doing it. So first and foremost... It's very important to start off. You don't mind the dogs in the back per usual. Nova just hopping up on the couch and getting comfortable. Mm. Okay. First off, the products are very. It's very important to be in the amount of product. Girl, you better not be barking at them people. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Go in. Ari, you too. See, they're so good. She wanted to bark at the people. We didn't want that in the video. So, like I was saying, the products that you use are very important for the outcome of the style. So, starting with the shampoo um, on down to the leave-in conditioners that I use. Um, otherwise, I've done this with several different types of shampoos, and uh, they just get different results. So, like this is really light, fluffy, airy. Um, it's not weighed down and heavy, um, which I've experienced with using uh, some different shampoos. So, I have used these shampoos before in another video. My first video on how I straightened my hair, and then I switched over to the um, the other shampoo and conditioner. But I still use these because they're great. I mean, just move my little chair here, all my stuff on it, on over. Um, so I start off with the BioTerra. Please, there's like a here on here the bioterra anti-frizz shampoo so anti-frizz is very important to me um because my hair really attracts it moisture and frizz very easily so if i don't use an anti-frizz this is going to be even bigger so i want i like it big but i like that you know kind of controlled size to it controlled volume so this helps me to do this so um, I did wash and condition my hair off camera, so that's why I'm going up through these. <laughs> so I use the shampoo and then the matching conditioner. And then when I blow dry my hair, I section it into four parts, and there are, geez, like five products I use for that. I know, a little overkill, but my hair needs as much moisture as possible. So this conditioner is a great is great for um, putting moisture in your hair because this can be a tad dr bit drying, but I've experienced way worse, so this isn't so bad. But the conditioner adds that moisture back in. So first and foremost, um, the way I layer is I start with this leave-in here. It is the Cream of Nature with Argon Oil from Morocco Perfect 7, 7-in-1 leave-in treatment. It detangles and conditions heat protectant. Breakage, defense, controls frizz, another big one for me. Uh, prevents split ends, big for everyone, and adds, adds exotic shine. The shine's gotta be exotic. So I start with this, uh, spray this one on first, and then I use my Ashe Lush Leave In Conditioner with Argon Oil. It strengthens and protects those that have any prayer bins or silicone. So this is from the Ashe line, which is you can only get online. It's very light and um, I, I really like it. It just 
And it also helps speed up the blow drying process. So that's another big plus for this one. And then another anti frizz, the Mizani. And of course, I've had this for such a long time, the label is just gone on here, but it is smoothing complex. So it's number three in their whole cycle that they use. It's anti humidity spritz. So this. As you can see, I'm getting down to the last little bit of it. But anytime I'm doing a blow dried look or straight or straighten my hair, I always use this. And then I finish out um, with the Design Essentials Silk Essentials. If you look at my other video on like when I'm actually straightening my hair, I use a similar oil. So I ended up getting this one because uh, I was all out of that other Design Essentials oil. And this is the only one I could find and I had gone to three places and I was like, we'll skip it. I'm going to get this. So this is comparable to that. I don't remember what the exact name of it, but it's from the, um, the one that I used previously is from the, uh, lavender silk press collection thing that they got going on. So this one is it's a little expensive. I think it was like $20 for this bottle, but I've had this for a while, so it, it'll last you. So it's well worth it. And then I finish off with uh, the Living Proof Fridge Humidity Shield uh, protects me style. I just go in with this as a finisher when I'm done with my entire head. So that is how I get this look. Let's get into the clip of me actually blow drying my hair. I did decide late to film, so I had one quadrant already done. But you'll see how I go through and layer everything um, besides the shampoo and conditioner. And then the blow dryer that I use, an oldie but a goodie, this one right here, it is the Con Air 187, I'm sorry, 1875, wow, that's a difference, a styler, and I use their brush attachment, um, I've had this for so long, like, if, if y'all know, y'all know, like, these types of blow dryers that are, like, shaped like a comb, they come with the comb attachments, all the like all the teeth are gone on those ones and like I even need a new brush attachment which they don't sell separately which is terrible so I technically need to buy a new blow dryer. I did try a different blow dryer that I have that's like this that I had bought to replace this one and that I really didn't like so I'm I keep with this. And another thing about the blow dryer which is very important um and why I use the brush attachment is because it helps to straighten the hair more so it gives it a sleeker look so it's not as um crinkly curly i guess like if like some spots like there's a hair over a strand that's like it looks like i went over it with a flat iron but i didn't and then like some spots because this had more oil on it apparently than other spots so it just helps to smooth out and stretch the hair more than it would if you were using the chase method with a paddle brush or just you know going through and waving the blow dryer around so that's that's the blow dryer that i use to help get this look right here so let's get into the clip
All right, so that was the end of the clip, and that was how I got my hair to look like this. Um, I did end up just laying down this little edge right here a little bit and a little over here and just putting a silk scarf on so it can be laid because um, I did end up having to go run some errands before filming this part. Blah, blah, portion. What is wrong with me, y'all? Like, I don't understand why I can't speak English when I film, but it's, it's a problem that I'm going to need to fix. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate y'all. Um, another thing about this style to keep it up because it can dry out, um, after like a day or so, I do put argon oil on it, on my hair and, um, Jamaican black cash oil on my scalp for upkeep, um, sleeping. I just put it in a bun and when I'm working out, I have it in a bun and I just pull it down and brush it out. <laughs> Other than that, that's all I really do for this. So it's re it's really a great look to go um, for if you're like me and you're kind of lazy about your hair and don't want to put in a whole bunch of effort and you just, it's, it's so pretty and it's fluffy and it's nice. So like I was saying, thank y'all so much for watching. I truly, I don't know what that is. It just looks weird. Okay. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, share, and comment on any questions or suggestions or any other types of videos you want to see from me. Let me know. I do try to get back to comments within 24 to 48 hours when I see them, and I always get an email notification, so I try to hop on it the same day or the next day. I try to keep y'all fresh in my mind and get back to y'all ASAP. But like I said again, thanks for watching, and until next time, it's your girl Charlamagne.